What up, y'all? Mr. Zoo Nation, a.k.a. Savage Armor, Jim Giraffa. Welcome to another episode of Dark Device. Today's topic is going to be about the release of the Revival Selection portion of Mega Colony. Now, here's the thing. I came out with a, re re not a restriction list, a prediction list. Um, I was supposed to come out with one yesterday, and a lot of things happened, like the video wasn't rendering, and a couple of emergency stuff came up. So I was like, oh, I'll do it today. As I was rendering this today, they come out with, I figure out they come out with the list. So guess what? I had to kill that rendering, um, restart. So all that work I was doing yesterday just went to shit. And now they came out with this list. So now I'm all like, okay, let's see what this list is. And trust me, I am mad disappointed. So... Looking at this list, we have Optorandis, um, Overwhelm. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this girl's name, so I'm gonna just call her Morph. Uh, then we have Relish Lady. Then we have the original Dark Face Gordora. We have Machining Tree Hopper, and we also have Makeup Widow. All right, so uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. They only got two things right. They got Optoranus right and they got relish lady because like Optoranus right now is like a $16 card and the SGR is currently out of stock so it's understandable and then relish lady is like about five dollars they're both staples like don't get me wrong they're kind of like low staples so we wasn't really completely complaining about the price but at the same time still um they definitely needed reprints before, like, Mega Colony gets something completely busted, and all of a sudden it becomes a lot harder to find those cards. So, I can kind of sort of understand why Bushy Road did this. But then there's Overwhelm, and that's when shit starts to go downhill. Because here's the thing Overwhelm is still being used at like two to three, so it's understandable that she still is a somewhat staple in Mega Colony. Don't get me wrong, but. This is like the fourth, the third re no, this is going to be the fourth copy of the car, but it's going to be the third reprint. So think about this. We had the original one that came out in, what was it? Awakening Zoo. Then we had a box topper promo in destructive roar and then we also had another reprint in their in the last revival collection and now we're getting another reprint of overwhelm now here's the thing i kind of actually would have rather got a reprint of dark face gordora for a couple of reasons one the original gordora is there why not do um the reprint of dark you know, Empress Gordora. Like, why not do that? And the second one is they did reprint the original Gastille. Not the original one. They reprinted the, the Premium Collection 2019 Gastille. Uh, excuse me. But we're getting another version of Overwhelm. Now, another thing to put in to put in mind that Mega Colony doesn't really have that much to work with to originally. Like, if you really think about it, Mega Colony and Nubatama has the least support out of any clan in the game. I shit you not. You can combine the OG era, the G era, and the V series of both Mega Colony and Nubatama, and uh, Gear Chronicle will still have a lot more support than both of those clans combined. That's how bad they got supported within these 10 years that the game is you know been around well 10 years for them i think we're still like on eight years i think but anyway uh enough with that i kind of felt like there, it should have been empress Ghidorah because she is starting to go up in price a little bit and i know like priorities take hand and this is pretty much like I guess, like, until Empress Ghidorah came out, our best ride. Like, let's be real on that. Um, but it could have been worse. Like, let's be real on that. They could have just been a complete dick and did um, Merciless Dark Face. Uh, but that's just me. The other thing that kind of gets me is 
we got another G Guardian, which is Morph. I'm still not going to go ahead and try to pronounce her name. But anyway, she's basically our best G Guardian. Like, let's be real on that. Relish Lady is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, she definitely needed a reprint. But, like, Relish Lady doesn't really give you any shield when right now in the game we need as much shield as possible uh griceforth already got a reprint in the previous revival collection and it only goes off when your opponent's vanguard attacks and even then unless you're going against like let's say uh an xl deck that has like a lot of rested units um you don't really gather a lot of shield from that and then, of course, like, the, the first G-Guardian we had is trash, so we're not even going to get into that. But, I mean, let's be real. This is kind of this is kind of bad. I'm not even going to lie on that. Um, I, I kind of felt like that this base could have been preserved for something else. But that's just me. Um, but outside of that, we got Tree Hopper, which is also... I feel like this is the worst one out of all of them. Now, here's the thing. I don't mind having a trigger that goes back into the deck, right? But I feel like that Tree Hopper is obsolete. For, because, for one, we need to kill our opponents. We need as much power as possible. Yeah, having an extra trigger in the deck is cool like that. But what's the point when your opponent could just stomp, stomp us into the ground just because, oh, we wanted to have a trigger that goes back into the deck. Second, there's really no reason to use this card like it was back in the day. Okay, when Premium Format first came out, or I should say when the Format Splits first came out, this card was A-OK. -okay. Why? Because the Format, you know, could allow it. It can allow for dumb shit like this to actually happen. You know, it, it can allow gimmicks at that particular time. Whereas now, everything is all about trying to kill your opponent on your first try turn. It's always been like that. Don't get me wrong. It's always been like that. But at least back in the day, you had the luxury of playing gimmicks in your deck and being A-OK. -okay. Whereas this one... You have to kill your opponent as fast as possible, but at the same time, play it hella safe. And this ain't it, Chief. I'm sorry. This ain't it. Now, here's the thing. Is there a, a place for cards that can go back into the deck? Yes. Absolutely yes. Look at Monochrome Cat. Monochrome Cat has the ability to put itself back into the deck, to draw a card, and to actually unflip a card in your damage zone. That is more than enough reason to play a stand trigger where unless your name is Valkyrian or your name is, um, what's his name, Blade Master, you actually have a reason to play. You don't really have a reason to play stand triggers. But this, on the other hand, gives you more than enough reason. Tree Hopper, all it does is stun a unit, which, let's be real, is so obsolete that there's almost no point in really using it. The only reason why stunning works with Empress Ghidorah is because it also prevents your opponent from playing G-Guardians, and it also prevents your opponent from playing stuff that's not from the hand. Unless if you're playing Dumbass Messiah. But let's be real, everybody who's playing Lane Joker right now is smoking that Chaos Breaker Dragon Pack right now. So there's really no reason to really stress out on the Messiah thing. But if you so happen to go against a Messiah player, I'm unironically saying this, just pray. But anyway, <laughs> uh, then you have Gredora. It's kind of understandable why they did this. They're starting to do this with basically almost every clan right now where everybody is getting like, one of their older G card support cards, despite not being like the most used, even though you can still kind of use older door, like older door still slaps. Like, don't get me wrong on that, but uh, I can kind of understand why they chose it. 
And then, of course, there's Makeup Widow, where I feel like is, in my personal opinion, the worst choice. I would have rather had Earth Dreamer than have Widow, Widow than Makeup Widow. And I feel like they only chose Makeup Widow because Gredora and Makeup Widow is a spider. Like, I feel like that's the only reason why they chose it. But, like, if you wanted a card that G that um, counter charges, that's a stand trigger, there's always Mega Colony Battler G. All it does is put it into the soul and, and counter charge one. Whereas with, uh, Makeup Widow has to wait until the end phase to put itself into the soul and you get the counter charge one. Um, it does also allow you to stun a card, which is also a plus two. But let's be real, if you're going against something like Kagero and they're go playing Overlord, obviously, um, you go all they have to do is defeat Flare and you won't get you won't see none of that shit. Um, there's also Link Joker as well, where they get to also lock your back row cards as well. So all they gotta do is lock that card and just have free real estate. Like let's be real on that. Um, you might as well just play Main Colony Battler G. At least you get to counter charge one and put it into the soul instantly instead of like meeting your demise against other control clans. But uh, outside of that, this list, like I said, it's, it's a three out of 10 for me, in my personal opinion. They dropped the ball because the one card I was hoping, hoping that they would reprint, they didn't reprint. And I'm so mad at that. They should have reprinted Brilliant Blister. Now, here's the reason why Brilliant Blister needed to get reprinted. Brilliant Blister prevents your opponent's Vanguard from restanding. Now, you may think that this is a simple effect that's not always going to come up, but let's be real. Any meta where a majority of the, of the decks in the meta is restanding Vanguards, this card comes in clutch. Let's be real on that. This card comes in clutch. It's amazing. It's hilarious. It's definitely a card that definitely needed a reprint. Yes, it's still pretty cheap right now, but who's to say? There's going to be a time where Mega Colony is going to get all the hype in the world, and all of a sudden, this card will go out of stock. And then Bushy Rose is going to be scratching their head like, I thought we reprinted the good cards. No, you haven't. You didn't reprint all the good cards. You reprinted a couple of good cards. Everything else just filler. But let's be real on that. Um, I definitely feel like we should have at least got that. I would have traded that for Machining Tree Hopper regardless. Like, let's be real on that. Um, but outside of that, man, I I'm, I'm done. I'm hoping that they don't screw us over that bad with Giraffa. They screw us over that bad with Giraffa. I'm sorry, Nick. We rioting. I'm sorry. We rioting. <laughs> but, man, um, I'm kind of glad that Optimus got reprint and Relish Lady got reprint. Everything else is kind of either didn't really need one or it's kind of sort of okay. But with that being said, um, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully this other video that I have planned is gonna gonna go smoothly. Predictions of what um Giraffa is gonna be doing. But with that being said, my name is Mr. Zoo Nation, aka Savage Armor Giraffa, signing out.